Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, March 7th. The Emperor. This is the sign of Aries. This is about um, getting your life back on track, bringing some structure and some organization back. While I was shuffling the cards, I heard it's time to wipe the slate clean. Okay? And with the Emperor, the Emperor takes the lead. Okay? Maybe it's time for you to take the lead in your own life. Bring stability. Stand up for yourself. Ten of Cups, beautiful. So this is happiness. Maybe the storm is over. Oh my gosh, look at that. The Two of Cups and the Four of Cups. So yeah, it appears that the storm is over. Maybe you've been through a period of discontent and now, now there is some sort of shift where things start to become organized again, okay? Think the chaos starts to dissolve and happiness comes back. Okay, with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, I mean, there's some sort of reconciliation or resurgence or renewal or even new love. Okay, there's a there's some sort of union that. either begins or gets better, okay? Because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. So this, I mean, there is some sort of new stability that comes back to your life after a period of discontent, boredom, unhappiness, you know, a loneliness. So I think there's been a period of I'm not happy and the storm is over. The storm is over and today is, is almost like there's a, a new reunion or a new union that brings a lot of happiness to your life, okay? Yeah, there's a new excitement. There's a new opportunity being presented. Okay, so with endings bring new beginnings. It does, that's what it appears. It appears to me that there's some sort of, of ending. There's a release. The storm is over. The storm is over. The worst, has, the, the worst has passed. And now there's a new exciting beginning ahead of you. I mean, the Ace of Wands right, mirroring the death card. It's like all of a sudden there's this new exciting beginning that opens up new avenues that lead to a beautiful union and happiness, okay? The storm is over, and I know that I'm repeating myself, but I do that a lot. Whatever has happened that has made you feel very alone and unhappy and miserable, because, you know, that's what I see. It's like I've, I've been miserable here. I think that the time, that's over. And now things are going to be happening that are much more exciting. I think there's expansion here. And you are being offered this new growth, perhaps even a new partnership, okay? Or it could be a resurgence or a reconciliation within a partnership. It's like after, you know, it's the... Um, oh, what's, I'm trying to think of this saying and it keeps getting me. You know, after the storm... 
whatever. It's 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 the it's the gold at the end of the rainbow. You know what I mean? It's the it's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Whatever's going on, whatever has happened that has made you feel so alone and made you feel like nothing was ever going to change, as when was this ever going to get better, whatever has happened, it's over now, it's time for you to have your transformation, to release it, to start over, there's new growth coming in, okay, the storm has truly passed, okay, it's over, and now it's time for structure to come back, it's time for organization to come back, it's time for um, stability to resurface, Okay, um, many of you are going down a new road completely, completely, and you could be even releasing a union, okay, because this is the death. You could be releasing a union which leads to new excitement and happiness, and you've been really, really unhappy with where you are at, so you took the steps, which this guy does, takes the steps to bring structure and stability back to your life. So it appears to me that somebody that is watching this is taking the steps to get their life back on track, to release the, the discontent, to re release the loneliness, to release the... the unhappiness okay there's been some sort of unhappiness that someone has been holding on to and it's been causing them to not want anything to not want love to not want happily ever after somebody has been holding on to some hurt and now they have decided to release it I'm going to release this hurt and let happiness come into my life, okay? So many of you, this is a new relationship. There's a new partnership, or there could be a reconciliation. But with the death card, I think that many of you are letting something go. You're letting something go so that you can start anew. There's a new partnership here, okay? I feel as though... And this came out reversed, so I'm going to let it be reversed. I feel as though there, there's some wounds that are being mended, okay? You are mending some wounds. Or you have, in this time out, this time that you have taken to do your, to do your work, you may not have felt like you were doing inner work, but you were doing inner work. You were going through a period of, of not wanting, not wanting love, not being able to offer love, not by being able to give love. And I feel like what was going on is you were mending, you were healing. And it's come to this, it's come to the point where you have gotten to the point where you have grown. And now there's new excitement and new fertility within you because you've done the work that you need to do. It's like, I feel like you guys are finally moving away from something that was holding you back. It feels like you're letting go of sorrow. I'm letting this sorrow go. Because you were losing opportunities. You were losing opportunities by holding on to the sorrow. And I think you've come to that realization. Yeah, there's an unexpected choice in love. And I think that you've made a conscious change. It's like you've made the decision to let this go. I have made the decision to let my past go. I feel like you guys are seriously walking away from the past. And as you walk away, there's a, there's, there could be a new union. A new unexpected choice in love. And I feel like you have made a conscious choice to move forward. For many of you, there's a new partner. I mean, there is a new, there's a new partnership on the horizon. And today could just be the beginning. Or today, today could be the day where you decide, I'm ready for a new partner. 
Many of you are letting go of sorrow and stepping into or onto a new path. With death brings new life. And that's what this is. You're letting some, something is ending that is bringing you perhaps even a soulmate. Okay? Because these are both soulmates. I mean, they could be soulmates. So something is ending. Maybe you finally decide the storm like I was talking about at the beginning. And I was trying to figure this out. You're finally letting go of the sorrow and the discontent and the hurt that has held you back from opening up to anybody else or even to the love that you're with, okay? I think you're finally letting it go. And as you let it go, there's a brand new beginning. There is. There is a brand new beginning that could come very, very unexpectedly into your life. And I feel like you have made a conscious choice to move on. We're going to get one of these. Now the energy, the timing is fluid. This could have happened. Could be today. Could be tomorrow. Could be next week. This is what I'm picking up on today. I see uh, a lot of happiness coming into your life. Perhaps even a permanent love, okay? Because this is permanent love with the Ten of Cups. After a time of sorrow, like I've said. Definitely there's love here. Perhaps a new partnership. There is a new love here. There is new love here. And it's very stable and secure. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Interesting. I think you've been on it. You've, you've decided to be honest with yourself. That's what's happened here. That is what's happened here. It's time. It's time for me to be honest with myself. Oh, here it is. Oh. Time. Schedule a sacred date with yourself. You deserve time for your life. Interesting. Time. The time is now as well. It's time. It's time for you to let go of this sorrow. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to make the choice. We're going to get one more. It's time for you to be honest with yourself. It's time for you to step onto your new path and let the past go. It's time for your new beginning, okay? It's time for your, your new growth. It's time for you to expand. And it's also a time for romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. This card is just reiterating. There's a new partnership here for many of you after a time of healing, sorrow, pain, holding on. I, I see that many of you are taking the lead to get your life back on track, being honest with yourself, and letting go of the sorrow and the hurt that has held you back. I'm, I'm, I'm done. And as you let go, really let go, 
consciously, the conscious change, you consciously let go. Because, I mean, you guys may have let go physically. It could be years ago. could be six months ago. Whatever. But if you, when you consciously let go, that's when this new love comes in. I think somebody has made a conscious change to let go. And as they do that, there is a new exciting opportunity in love that could lead to permanent love with perhaps a soulmate. That's what I have. Talk to you later.